Hey guys, what's up? No, guys, what's going on? Everyone, this is Sam. Hi guys. She has an amazing YouTube channel, oh, amazing you. workouts, fitness tips, fit girl habits, how she got her YouTube channel started, yeah. some of her famous fit tips. She just went vegan, so all you vegans out there or anyone thinking about going vegan, she has I some tips you. for that. And also about how she keeps a healthy relationship with her boyfriend, who I love too. He's so sweet, but he's the cutest ever. He's so actually here. He's actually here. <laughs> he's in his car. I just want to start off with um, how you got started with your YouTube channel. Okay. And I think that's a lot of a lot of people want to know you have almost a half a million followers yeah. across all of your social medias which right. is insane you guys half a million so I first started in 2014 but just putting up videos like here and there like right. nothing like consistent they were really random too one would be like on my hair one would be like what's your hair is incredible yeah. I want I want to watch that tutorial I was still in college so it wasn't something that I could keep up with you know like right both so hard 2015 towards the end like almost 2016 I was like, you know what? People are making a career out of this. Right. Why don't I just stay consistent and just see what happens? But I was never like hard on myself to the point where I was like, this has this has to be it. Because I did just graduate from college. I had a college degree. And I also kind of think that that's why it worked out for me too. Because it wasn't like, it has to be this. Then it's not as organic. It's not as genuine. It's just much like, pressure too. Yeah, there was no, there was literally no pressure. It was just, just like passion involved too. Because that's right. such a huge part with us and right. starting your own business and you know exactly. starting up a YouTube or any honestly any business. The passion has to be there. Exactly. And if the passion is removed from anything you're starting, yeah, or the you'll too much pressure. It. I was one of the first to make law of attraction videos actually. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, how many views now does the, your law of attraction video have? Like over a million, right? Well, I have some that are over a million and some half Crazy. a million and some like 700,000. So how would you come up with your YouTube ideas? Because you're, you know, she has three videos a week, which Monday, is crazy. Wednesday, Friday. I have one and that is hard for me. So she has Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So that is constantly coming up with content, right. constantly filming. If you guys out there don't understand how hard that is, um, let me tell you, it is so hard. It's She's hard. constantly producing, creating, yeah. thinking. So tell us about how, like where your inspiration comes from for your videos. So. Since I have a lifestyle channel, I can really relate it exactly to my life. So you know how you go through like different phases, like one minute you might be into hot yoga, which by the way, I don't even know why I use that as an example. Today I get really into that. Then you're really into hot yoga. I was really into like overnight oats for a while. So then I'll make videos around things that I'm actually genuinely into. Right. And recently you got into veganism. So right. let's transition that into how... And my boyfriend too. And your boyfriend too? We no way. We went vegan together. Too? Yeah. Wow. So I want to know, first off, why you decided to be vegan. Was there one trigger that yes. was like one turning point, one moment that was like, oh my God, I'm vegan? Yeah. And then how how easy it's been for you, how hard, yeah. obstacles. So not to bring the mood down. You know, oh God. Like... <laughs> by the way, I'm not vegan, so I don't know what she's about to say. <laughs> but, okay, so I was on Instagram one day and for the longest time, I, I had been thinking about it because when I was a kid, I was a vegetarian and I come from an Italian family and half Turkish family So they were like, you don't eat no meat and I'm like No, and I was really young to be a vegetarian. I was really young and um, I've made the connection at a young age I was like wait when I eat a hot dog that was like from a pig and like yeah. you know like I feel like as a kid you start to it's, it's like traumatizing. Yeah, but then I went on Instagram one day and there was this video, a clip, of chickens. Oh my god, I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> you gotta hear it. <laughs> okay, chickens being killed or... Okay, but chicks, so baby chicks Stop. that are so adorable. And my the god. way that they kill uh. them is they just throw them in the grinder. Okay, that really makes my heart hurt and makes my heart ache. No, but I get it because I literally was eating meat last year. Right. So it's like No, it's really hard because when you go to a grocery store and you know you see it already ready for you, you see the bacon, you see the chicken, you really don't think about it. Right. Um, but I also do want to know and ask you about the health effects as well that right. come with veganism. Exactly. Because, um, I mean, there's so many different uh, beliefs about food and if meat is good for you or bad for you, right. and if eggs are good or bad for you. So I want to know if you have any, have you seen any health benefits from it or it yeah. was solely for the sake of the animals? Well, for me, and so I went vegan and then I started showing these clips to my boyfriend and he was like, yeah, I can't do that either. So then he went vegan as well. Um, but I would say as far as health, like one cooking is more fun because we can use a ton yeah. of different cutting boards and or just one 
And you don't have to worry about salmonella. And yeah. you don't have to worry about, like, my raw chicken touched that. I can't cook vegetables now. You don't, like, that concern is, like, out the window. So I think it's really great for, like, college students. And because meat's also really expensive. Yeah. So my issue when I was a college student, I went vegan. A lot of you guys don't know this, but I went vegan for literally tops one month, two months. No, that's a lot. So it was really hard for me. But I actually found that it was worse for me because when I was in college, um, I didn't have time to cook right. inc incredible yeah. meals, and I lived with eight girls, so our kitchen was like disgusting. Did so I end up cooking it with you? No. Okay. Actually, yes, Jessica Flores. Shout out to Jessica Flores. And so I think she's still vegan too. Oh. <laughs> I feel. But my issue was I ate too many carbs, and I ate rice, pasta. I had so much like just nasty processed carbs that came yeah. with going vegan because when I was in college, I didn't have enough time to cook an incredibly plant-based meal that was super tasty at the same time. Yeah, just like, exactly. All right, we're going for pasta again tonight. Yeah, so, or like rice. Right, yeah. Well, okay, I tried for like the first two weeks to do the high carb, low fat, and like carbs just don't, like they, I know some vegans are like, no, they work for everybody, but no, they don't. Like carbs can make you feel more bloated. They can hold on to more water weight. So for me personally, I can't do high carb. Um, I just kind of do a moderation matter. of everything. You know, in the morning I have like a smoothie or a protein shake, so that's lean. You know, lunchtime I either have a lean soup or a lean salad, and then dinner I have my carbs. So I'm still probably getting in the right. same amount of carbs. Yeah. And I see a huge difference when I cut my carbs as well. Like, yeah. I if, if I eat more carbs than I usually do for about one to two weeks, I seriously don't have abs, you guys. Like, and you can see a huge difference with only one to two weeks after you drop yeah, the carbs. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Or, and you can switch to Ezekiel bread too. Yeah, which is I like love really Ezekiel bread and too. Now I but prefer the taste. I put a lot of butter on my Ezekiel bread. <laughs> <laughs> Again, is there any vegan options for yes. butter? Yes. So we're going to transition this, and I want to go back to Jared, and your, who, that, who is her boyfriend. Um, they have been dating for how many years? I think six. Six years. Yeah. And I, to, like, what I, track. I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> what I love about you guys is that they're from the East Coast. They moved here together yep. to LA together. New York. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to New York. Shout out to Virginia. And um, they both work at home, so they're together a lot. Um, they kind of schedule time. I feel like your Saturdays and your Sundays, you guys schedule a lot of time yeah. together. But I really want to know what keeps you guys like such a healthy, stable relationship because that's really hard to yeah. work together. He helps her with her videos, so just kind of. You know, yeah, your tips. For well, that. I think the first thing is so he helps me with my videos, but he does have his own job, his own business, his own thing going on. So I think that that helps too, because I meet. I mean, I'm sure you do too. We meet a lot of influencers where the couples do it right. together. Oh, for sure. And I've met a lot of them too, and they're like, yeah, you know, like I have a vision of this, he has a vision for that, so that we like bicker. Like when Jared's doing something for me, it's like just taking a quick pick, and like sometimes I post on. Insta story. I just he's like not like he doesn't like always know what he's doing. He's like the typical boyfriend, like, oh you want an outfit of the day? Like takes one and you're like No, I met like fifteen at least <laughs> photos. Now just snap them fast. Now he knows and he'll go, Okay, I'm gonna help you get snatched. Okay, pull up your pants. <laughs> like oh now he's like learning. Right. But um he definitely or like if I'm like filming a video like this with somebody else, he'll like like work the camera or something but my youtube channel is definitely not like we don't share it oh totally yeah and so how what are some tips on you know because you are always together like in the same house some space tips or yeah. doing your own thing well we definitely have our own areas like our way way upstairs is his like i don't want to say man cave but like an office man cave like i'd never be up there for anything right <laughs> except right. i'm like wait something really smells you have had like that drink up there for way too long um, and then now that we have two dogs, Harper's always with him and Wyatt's always with me. So that's why Wyatt's always in my videos and she's not because she's like yeah. daddy's girl. Like, so you're a dog mom now and you recently just got another dog. Can you tell your family how you got that dog? I know. At the grocery store. At the grocery store. I, she texted me this and I was like, that is a meme. That is like you go to the grocery store and you leave with a puppy. We left with a puppy. I think that helps our relationship too, by the way, just to kind of combine the two because we have these oh, little, adult. Yeah. yeah, we oh. have these little fur babies that we love so much and they do funny things and now we're at this point psycho in that we have a camera in our living room so we can like watch them. Oh my god, actual baby cam, <laughs> baby cam. Someone gave it to me, I didn't like <laughs> buy it, but it's incredible. Um, we'll be out for dinner like having date night and we're just like watching what they're doing the whole time. <laughs> oh my god, that is amazing. But yeah, we went to Whole Foods in Santa Monica and every Sunday they do like 
I don't know, a pet adoption. <laughs> you will see me at Whole Foods this Sunday. No, I'm kidding. All right, so we're gonna wrap this video up with our top questions that we usually get. So yes. we wrote down our three main questions that both of us combined get for the most part. You know, yeah. if we're, I feel like you're always probably getting so many comments about questions. Like, so I just feel like we want to answer it as a whole and also both our opinions on this. I want to see yeah. your opinions on diet, exercise, and so kind of just talking that out. And yes. so our top question, um, which we both get a lot, is how to lose belly fat yes. and how to get abs, how to trim down your tummy. So let's get right into it. <laughs> what is your top tip? Water, and I feel like no one likes that response because they're like, oh, it's so generic, but like it yeah. really is like, I. I could look at old pictures of my body and I know exactly when I wasn't drinking a lot of water because you sort of have, I don't want to say like a pooch, but you sort of have like that water weight stomach. And believe it or not, drinking more water helps out you. And water helps you lose weight. weight. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say Which water. people actually think the opposite of. Right. And yeah. it's, yeah, it's not true. It's kind water of, it's helps you lose yeah. weight. Yeah, and like water flushes out water weight, like you wouldn't think. Water is the best kept beauty scene. It is. Mom says. Yeah. Yes, and your, her mom would know. <laughs> so the other thing with water is if you're not getting enough, your body's holding on to the water that you do have. So that's right. what's going to make it have that like. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, um, a lot of people ask me about the best ab workouts that you can do and the best tummy exercises, but that's actually not what's going to get you a flat right. stomach. And you can be doing 90 crunches every hour and still not see results because it's not about the ab workouts. It's, what would you say, 80, 85% what you eat. And a yeah. lot of that, I know Sam agrees with me because I've seen her videos about processed sugars. Yeah. And I know that is the number one killer for any type of fat on your body. So if you just eat clean and you do a, like, you know, a lot of vegetables, healthy fats, good grains, uh, great protein, lean protein. Sam needs tofu. <laughs> uh, that's another question. How, actually, how do you eat your protein? Beans? Um, beans. Quinoa, okay. uh, tempeh, which is mm -hmm. kind of like tofu, and then I don't know if I'm pronouncing this wrong, but seitan, seitan. Seitan. So many different beliefs out there with nutrition. But yes. kind of already talked about your boyfriend, yes. and I recently got a boyfriend too, so yes. uh, top ass question, where do we meet our boyfriends? Yeah, where, you never told me where you guys met. Uh, or maybe you did. Well, um, so he DM'd me. <laughs> Sorry, Bradley. <laughs> So I knew of him because we had a lot of mutual friends. Okay. We, he was an athlete at UCLA. I was an athlete at USC. So you so know, it wasn't kind of, so random. It, no, 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 no. It wasn't super random. Yeah. It wasn't super random. We have a lot of mutual friends, um, but we didn't follow each other. So we weren't like okay. friends at all in any way. But he DM'd me. Um, I replied two months later, and oh, here we are today. Making him wait. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So how did you guys meet? Uh, the gym. Oh, that's a and it took like a year to like talk. So, so for a whole like, year, yeah. you guys went to the same gym and saw each other or did you like be like, oh, I'm going to the gym at 9am too? Kind of thing. No, we would see each other. So when I say that, so when we, I'm like, we met at the gym, people are like, oh no, was he the creepy guy? Like, yeah. you, I asked him out because he wouldn't. He is like, so like fitness, like when he's in the zone, like working out or meal right. prepping or like eating healthy, whatever the case may be, like, he is not thinking about anything else. Like, it's right. just that. So he would be working out in his own zone, <laughs> and I would just be like the creep. Like, would you look cute because you know he'd be there? Uh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, so I used to go with like my dumpster sweatpants, which is what he called them. Um, they look like they were friends in a dumpster. And I, I actually got them at the Goodwill, so possibly. <laughs> and, then you, and then after you met him, you started looking cuter. Yeah. Did you start doing your hair? Then you I started shaving my legs. <laughs> Wearing cute little shorts. Be like, look at that. Yeah. Spots. yeah. <laughs> Some RDLs and be like, oopsies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, our last question and how we're gonna wrap this up is how many times a week do we work out and for how long? So what do our weekly workout schedules look like? I also feel like people think we probably work out more than we do. You know? I skip workouts by the way, guys. Same. So I usually work out on average four to five times a week, sometimes three when I don't even when I'm super swamped. Sometimes six, barely ever, uh, but five times a week, four times a week is where and I And that's really good still, because then that means you're getting like two to three rest days. Right. So that's, yeah. I would say three to four for me. Yeah. Closer maybe to the three right now, just because I'm so busy. But I also think like when you work out plays a role too. Like I think doing Do fasted, yeah, fasted cardio. I'll work out first thing in the morning, which is like coffee in my stomach. So I guess I don't do it like completely. Like some people are like really fast. Right. Like, 
I have coffee with like creamer and it's not like black or anything. Yeah. Um, so it's not like completely facet. I know that some people just like wake up and go, don't even have water, but I always wake up, I have my lemon water, I have my apple cider vinegar shot. I guess I have a few more things, yeah. <laughs> just like nothing. And then I go work out. And I guess why I like it is I like using my fat for energy, you know, like that same. No, I totally get what you mean. Yeah, so yeah. it's not, I don't necessarily want to burn off like, there wasn't like something bad I had the night before that I'm like, I right. gotta burn that off. But like, right. definitely like the fat side of things too. You know, you have to work with your body types. I'm shorter, so. Yeah, and this is, of, this is exactly <laughs> a good place. To, this is a good place to end yeah. because it, it's a great lesson that not everything works for everyone. Exactly. You it's know what overall I mean? eating it's, healthy. It's okay. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Because like maybe fasted cardio does like a few like a little, little, little changes bits, for me, but, but like if I was just doing fasted cardio and then eating crap, it wouldn't. It's not going to be enough. Yeah, gonna... yeah, you can't run off a bad diet. Right. And I feel like all these little trends and tricks like fasted cardio only make if anything, the slightest, the slightest of difference. Right. So or something like me, for it's an overall, you know, eating clean. Um, you know, is probably 80, 75% of it. And then yeah. like working out for me is the other 20%. So to have an overall healthy lifestyle is where you're really gonna see results. Exactly. Yeah, and knowing that if something works for someone else, it might not work for you. And that's totally, totally fine. Yeah. All right, you guys, well, thank you so much for watching. And we hope that some of these tips will help you in some sort of way. And thank you to Sam Aww. for coming on. Thank you for having me. And make sure to subscribe to her. You probably are already subscribed and follow and know who she is. But make sure to check out her channel. Yes, I'll link it down you. below. Sam Oscroft. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye, guys. Bye.